friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a very hard cataract nuclear sclerosis about in grade 5 let us observe this surgery this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome at mid limbus and now only one side port has been made in this case and this is the side port about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision I thought of doing another side port but it was not done an air bubble has been injected into the anterior chamber and now tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble. This is a bit of adrenaline. I want to see if the pupil dilates a little more after application of this adrenaline. And the adrenaline helped in this case. The pupil dilated a little more and if this dilatation remains throughout surgery there will be no problem but it didn't happen like that we're going to see in a short while that the people will get small as soon as we start chopping the nucleus some amount of visco is applied over the cornea and the AC has been filled up with SPMC and now this is a uterator forceps a capsular tag has been raised and the capsular tag is guided just close to the pupillary margin to get an adequate size to access the pupil has dilated about 6 mm and the size of the rexis is about 5.75 mm And now, hydro dissection. As soon as we do hydro dissection, the iris get touched a bit, and the people tends to become smaller. However, the size of the people is adequate till now. Size of the people is about the size of the rexis, about 5.75 millimeter. After application of visco, the people size has increased a bit. We can call this viscometriasis. And now is the time to introduce the feco needle usual exposed part is this for grade 3 cataracts and I am going to make the exposed part little more for this hard cataract so I rotate the sleeve and expose the teeth little more And now let us see the submarine chaff for hard cataracts. Some superficial cortical lens matter is removed. And at this time the pupil tends to be very small. The size of the pupil is about 5 mm at this time. Now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and traveling for some distance the chopper is used and this is a very nice crack. I rotate the nucleus 180 degree go to a deeper level and separate the two heminuclei completely. 
And again, the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and this fragment is also chopped. And this is the other hemineucleus. It is also chopped in the same way. And we have got four free large nuclear fragments. My plan is to get on to the apex of a piece and here I get that. At this time the size of the people is about 4.5 millimeter but since the nucleus has been chopped into fragments and since the size of the rexis is adequate I have proceeded without using any people expansion device. At this time the size of the people is about 4 millimeter but still the case is manageable. I am tilting each fragment so that I can start emulsifying from the apex of each nuclear fragment and it is done and this is the last nuclear fragment. And at this time I remove the chopper and this makes the anti-chamber stability more and it is done. Some cortical lens matter is there. Inject some visco and since I have made only one sideboard, I'm going to use this instrument, a 23G Simco cannula, to remove the cortex. Yes, the cortex from the left side is removed. Now I go through the side port and remove the cortex from the other side. So cortex from all around has been removed and, and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. Since the pupil has become small at this time it is about 3.5 millimeter. I'm going to inject visco. Visco will cause some dilatation of the pupil and it will facilitate intraocular lens implantation. I'm going to use a B cartridge so I enlarge the main wound to about 3 millimeter and now a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted under visco in the capsular bag. Yes, both the haptics have gone into the capsular bag and now this is an instrument which can retract the iris, Y-shaped instrument and I am checking if there is any cortex or any nuclear piece hidden under the iris. If the intraocular lens is inside the capsular bag or not, etc. And I found that the lens is nicely placed in the capsular bag. And now I am removing the visco very nicely from the anterior chamber as well as from the capsular bag. And now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of the stab wound. And now is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. The visco cleaning part has been edited a bit. The part which showed visco cleaning from capsular bag has been edited out.
and now the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect compassion and great surgical skills